Hello, my name is Jake and this is our van tour. Some quick details about the car. So it's a ex-British gas caddy. It's done 40,000 miles, MOT, just flown through its MOT and it's just been fully serviced. And let's talk a little bit about the outside of the van and the van itself. So a few modifications. We've got 16 inch um, steel wheels, all terrain tires, color coded bumpers, nice orange strip there. I think we think it looks great. A bit of our character piece. We have the top box on top, but it's not just a top box. It is a roof tent, and we'll show you that a bit later. We've, we've got the awning, privacy side windows. On this side, we have a fixed window. On the other side, we have a sliding window. Coming around to the back, we have the color code bumper at the back too. There's parking sensors. We come around the side, apologies for the wind. We have the sliding window, like I said before. And this is a, it's the start line. So because it's the start line, British gas version, it has air conditioning, it has DAB radio. Um, and you know, because it's been British gas, it is fully serviced up to this point. It's only done 40,000 miles anyway, and we've just fully serviced it and MOT'd it for the year. You can tell me the deck is stacked. You can whisper behind my back. So here we are in the van itself and we had this professionally converted the main conversion bits anyway so the carpeting sound deadening it's got sound deadening it's got insulation it's got the lights proper floor with decent covering down here what else part of the conversion so we have 240 volt electrics in here so when you're plugged in on a site you get 240 volts so you can use a three plin plug three pin plug so we've got three pin plug here and one here we also have a battery monitor on the wall here so that tells you how much charge you've got left when you're working on the leisure batteries we've got two usbs on the wall here two usbs on the wall here so we're really well appointed and for people that don't necessarily know about leisure battery systems you can use the we haven't got an inverter so you use the 12 volt system which includes the usbs uh, here and here so you've got four usbs you can use them when you're not plugged in and when you are plugged into a site you can use the three pin plugs and the leisure battery also powers the fridge so we'll come and have a look at the fridge in a bit more detail in a second but the fridge will work off the leisure battery so you don't have to be plugged in for the fridge to work don't have to be plugged in for the lights to work the usbs to work or the heating to work so you can go off grid on this for probably a couple of days before you need to start the engine up go for a drive and charge the battery so that's really good so in this van we have a diesel heating system so the heater is located under the floor in this corner it has a thermostat system here so you can set it to come on at whatever temperature you want it quickly fills the van heats the van although you don't because it's quite comfy cozy sound dead and, and insulated in here you don't you really only need that in the winter time but it's there for you it works off this great sort of control system here and it uses diesel fuel so you'll never run the diesel tank the car's main diesel tank you'll never run that dry because it takes its fuel about 15 percent up from the bottom of the tank so the diesel heater will never run the diesel tank dry and you can run it for all night, not a problem. So one of the main considerations for conversion with this was how do we fit everything into such a small space uh, but still have all the functionality of a bigger kind of transporter van? And one of the answers is don't have a bulky sink with a lot of drainage and waste. Don't have a bulky uh, one burner gas hob because in reality, in the summer, you take the gas, gas hob out and you cook outside. So what's best to use? What's the best solution for that? Well, we think it's this. You have a sink that you can take out. So whether you want to fill your, uh, your washing up in it and you can go to the site and wash up on the site, or if you want to wash up in here, 
place the sink in there, you've got a tap, and then you simply chuck the water out. You don't need drainage, you're only going to be washing your hands or doing a little bit of washing up in here. So why waste all of that space for drainage? Next then we have, in the opening drawer, we have the gas two hob burner. So you can take it out and go and cook outside. Uh, but if you're doing the non-messy stuff, you'd open the window. Uh, maybe you'd want to cook in here if it was cold outside, or if you wanted a cup of tea when you're out and about, get the gas hob on and give you, get yourself a cup of tea or coffee. And moving down through the drawers, cutlery, wonderfully sized drawer here, all the cutlery that you need. And you'll see their soft close drawers here, catches on there so they don't come out when you're driving. Next we've got your crockery, so you've got, you can fit four plates, four bowls, four mugs, four cups, and that drawer there. And then finally you've got your quite nice and compact pots and pans. You've got your kettle for when you're on the three pin, when you're at a site, plugged in. And a toaster again for when you're on the three pin 240 volt system when you're on a site. And everything you've just seen in, draw in these drawers, and actually everything you see in this video, will be included in the sale. So this spring, summer, buy this from us and get straight out and to camping. Okay. So another big design decision for us was, how do you fit four people in if you're just on the way to the campsite, or if you're out for a nice day out with the family? Say if you've got four people, how do you quickly sit four people in here and have your picnic? Well, we've put a bench in here. And the bench also is a good storage solution. So you can fit four camping chairs in the bench and we'll show later this is fully secured in here and it becomes part of the bed when you convert the van. So that's really good. You can sit four people around here. I mean, it is tight, but it's a, it's a caddy at the end of the day. So you can fit four people around here or if, even if there's just two of you, you can sit lovingly and look into the eyes of your partner. As this is a fully converted camper, we've got curtains and blinds, or curtains. So the curtains easily clip in, and they are blackout, so it's really dark inside. Um, takes just a couple of minutes to pull these curtains across. No putting the horrible sticky pads on side each of the windows, because they leave a horrible residue. So we've got proper curtains on all four of the kind of uh, camper area windows and then we've got a wrap that goes around the front on the outside so again no horrible those sticky pads they have to lick and you have horrible windows on the back of it proper curtains for a proper conversion so imagine that you have just pulled up to a services it's maybe a little bit rainy outside you're on the way to camping or you're going out for a nice winter walk and you want to sit in the van in the nice and warm and have your picnic well you unclip the table from the back. And you place it on the rail inside. And you sit, you get your bits and pieces out of the fridge and have your picnic. So before we show you how to get this set up in camping mode, one thing we want to, this was a big thing for us when converting these vans was the flexibility of the van itself. So we had the bed installed on this rail system and you'll, you won't really find this anywhere else. So the bed can come out, so you can take the bed out, you could take the bench out and you can actually use, still use this as a bit of a van. Or what you do is if you've got children and you want them to be closer to the front seats, you can move the seat all the way forward on the rails. You can put the bench at the back and also, when the seat is forward, you can store so much stuff at the back there. So the beauty of the fridge being top loaded is that when the bed is down, middle of the night, you can grab a beer. And it's, it's a little bit hard to pick up on the camera, but this is a 36 litre fridge. So it goes all the way down here and you can easily stand up a, a wine bottle in there or multiple wine bottles in there. So it's quite hard to show on a picture or a video, but it's really deep and actually top loading is the best way to go. You can fit a lot more in a top loading fridge. So why you choose a camper over a tent is the speed of setting it up. So we're gonna show you 
we've just arrived at this site and we're going to show you what it's like to set it up just so you can see how everything goes. Right, here we go, super fast mode. You can tell me the deck is stacked You can whisper behind my back You can show me how the odds are up against me all day long But I've been through the fire and come out alive And there's no more fear in my eyes Well now I'm rising And you can bring me down You can't stop me now Okay, so just 10 minutes ago, this was a daily driver. We arrived at this site, we got it all set up. It's now a four berth family camper. So this is the bed down and it's super long. So I'm, uh, how tall am I? 5'10 around. Um, you can easily fit a six footer in there because we've put the bench at the back here. And then I think this is 1.8 meters, so 1.8. We're about just over two meters long here on the bench. So one person sleeps here, lovely. The next person, they can tuck in here. This is a lovely little tucked in area. Put this, put that table down. Depends if you like your partner really. This is a good one for the little spoon. The little spoon goes here. Big spoon is here. Look how much space. Just imagine there's two of us here right now. It's lovely, it's spacious. And actually, in a transporter, you only get, your bed in a transporter, I think, is around 1125, so 1125 millimeters. Our bed at this point is 900, but you've got an extension on this side, which is about 140, and you've got an extension on this side. So at its widest point, this is actually much wider than your standard transporter bed. <laughs> So in other campers you can have the pop top but here we've chosen the roof tent because it's wider so it's about 1200 wide up there which is a lot wider than you'd get on a transporter and certainly if you put a pop top on a caddy so you can fit two people up there it's super comfy and it's really easy to put up 10 seconds to put up probably a minute or a minute and a half to put down so i just want to talk a little bit about the storage and practicalities of this as a camper so myself and we've got two children we went for 15 days to europe in the summer in the van that's laid out exactly the same as this we moved the bed forward so on the rails and i'll show you a picture of what that looks like we will show you a video of what that looks like and all of the storage you can therefore get behind the seat You've also got storage under here. And when we were away, again, 15 nights, we put all of our food in here. So you can fit a lot of pots, you can fit a lot of beers, you can fit a lot of other bits and pieces in here. And we use this as a bit of a kind of pantry area. You can also store bits and pieces in the drawers. We've shown you've got all of your cutlery, crockery and bits and pieces, but there's always a little bit of leftover space there. There is, under this little section here. If Luke just comes in, further bit of storage there. We put the um, hookup cable and other bits and pieces, but again, if you're going out for a long journey, you can stick stuff there. What also, <clears throat> when you arrive at site, if you've got your, it's best to put all of your bits and pieces in a suitcase or a mini suitcase. And we have a little tent. So once you're set up on site, you can leave your tent if you want to go out for the day. It takes you five, 10 minutes to get everything packed back down, go out for the day. Your tent is here as a placeholder with your bits and pieces in it and you can enjoy your camping. Also from a storage and practicality perspective, we talked about how four chairs, these four chairs fit in the bench that we showed you earlier. The table slides under the seat 
bed. So everything you see here, really easy. You can drive around with it as your daily driver, decide to go out camping for the weekend and you're up and out really quickly. So we showed you how one person, 10 minutes can get this set up. Uh, Luke's gonna help me now. So let's see uh, how long it takes for two of us to put everything back and get back on the road. Eight minutes 48 and there was two of us so it was a little bit quicker and um, that included getting the, the tent down there so brilliant 10 minutes and what we've done is we've put the seat in the maximum storage road mode at the back here so if you take a look now we've got the bench in the back here suitcases can go here put your bed in all bits and pieces in here so that's on the rails push forward and then if you come and look at what it's like inside your passengers are a lot closer to the front seats so it's easier for conversation with those loved ones so that concludes our caddy camper tour get in touch if you've got any more questions we hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to hearing from you.